with a tirade outside the courtroom launched by the casino tycoon Steve Wynn. Wynn is locked in a really nasty lawsuit with the creator of Girls Gone Wild, a guy named Joe Francis on the left of your screen there. And this story is about to reach its climax. The jury now has the case. And ABC's John Triffin has been following this case every step of the way. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. I mean, these two men have been feuding publicly for more than three years now. So it came as no surprise when the trial turned ugly with both businessmen hurling insults at each other. Now, Wynn wants to hit Francis where it hurts, in his wallet, claiming statements he's made to multiple media outlets are untrue. This ugly trial now getting uglier, with respected Vegas billionaire hotel mogul ripping into Joe Francis outside of court. It's hard to believe that anybody sitting in that room could come to any other conclusion than Joe Francis is a liar, that Joe Francis is a desperate, out of control, vicious guy. The case is now in the hands of a Los Angeles jury. The question, did Wynn really threaten to kill Girls Gone Wild founder Joe Francis? Or is Francis making it all up? In closing arguments, both sides made their case. Steve Wynn threatens to kill Joe Francis. That's bad enough. The plaintiff has not met its burden of proof. In 2010, Francis alleges Wynn sent an email to their mutual friend, music producer Quincy Jones, saying the king of soft porn should be worried for his life after not paying up a $2 million bill at one of his casinos. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, Francis describes that email. He was going to hit me in the back of the head with a shovel and bury me in the desert. When Jones took Question. the stand Thursday, right to he told a different story. Did you ever hear Steve Wynn threaten to kill Joe Francis? No, absolutely not. And in a surprise twist, Wynn is now suing Francis for $4 million over that statement he made to Good Morning America. He was going to hit me in the back of the head. Claiming in the internet age, the interview can be played over and over, further hurting his reputation. How many customers say, wait a minute, I'm not going to go get credit at the Wynn. Is that the kind of tactics they use to collect? Without the threatening email, he just may end up on the losing side of this particular case. But interesting, interestingly, legal expert Dana Cole says this isn't an open and shut case. He believes the jury could look at this and think, well, these are just two rich guys wasting our time. That could lead to a hung jury. Dan, we will all find out when the jury comes back on Monday.